there's nothing like cruising down the freeway with the top down. The wind blowing through your hair, or lack thereof. Sure, having the top down is fun, but how about the convertibles to rule them all? Here are the most expensive convertibles. Let's start with an absolute beast. The 1939 Alfa Romeo 8C 2900B Lungo Spider. You'll need patience and a lot of money if you want to purchase one of these cars on the open market. You'll need patience because there are just a few left. Only 12 Alfa Romeo 8C 2900 Touring Spiders exist, and only 7 of them are long wheelbase Lungo models, all of which are in private collections and won't be auctioned for decades. As for the money, well, considering this example, it sold for just under $20 million. It's also one of 32 2.9 chassis produced. As a result, it is considered one of the most desirable European sports cars of the era. Located under the extended hood line is a 2,905 cc, hence the name, inline eight-cylinder engine. And if for some reason you want to stop, well, you have hydraulic drum brakes at all four corners. Stunning good looks, a disappearing roof, and plenty of practicality and comfort. This is a car that would make any car collector blush. The car's exterior alone is a real head turner. Several Italian coach builders worked on the Alfa Romeo 2.9 chassis, but Carrozzeria Touring in Milan was one of the most prominent. The lightweight Touring 2.9 bodies are considered some of the best in the coach builders' long and illustrious history. Adapting Charles Wayman's Superleggera building technique, Touring kept the 2900's weight as low as possible. Thin steel tubes covered in aluminum and cushioned with fabric provide a lightweight feel while still allowing the body to be shaped in a way that is as aerodynamic as possible. In a purposeful yet graceful way, the grille mesh leads to a hood line that extends away from the cabin. With a striking poise, the fenders enclose the wire wheels with beautiful arches. With the side skirts, the rear fenders connect with the front through the polished spats that cover the wheels. The front overhang is short, while the rear overhang extends to a pointed sloping trunk. The upper hood sides are lined with vents. A handsome, straightforward cabin layout can be found inside this 8C2900. Dark blue is all over, including the bench seat which is upholstered in leather. Additionally, the broad dash wraps around similarly colored door panels in a dark blue finish. It has a three-spoke steering wheel located on the right. On the left, you can see a gauge for engine RPM, and on the right, you can see a gauge for road speed. There are many reasons why the 8C2900 is exceptional. For a car of its age, it offers a high level of performance beyond its history and nostalgia. Every surviving example is a legend in its own right. In the words of Sotheby's, the 8C2900 Lungo Spider by Touring Models were a sum of their generation's engineering and design in a sensuous, undeniably thrilling package. An unnamed previous owner of this model described recent outings in which he comfortably flew down the road at speeds up to 105 miles per hour. This is one model that stands out as Alfa Romeo looks back for inspiration. Despite the car's age, it still has the guts to be as rare and expensive as the $20 million price tag it demands. But that's if you can even find one. Let's move on to the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. It's a gorgeous car, and yes, you can put the top down for a starting price of $500,000. It's the most expensive entry in the Aventador lineup. However, this particular example is in a class of its own and may very well be the most expensive Aventador on earth. If the half million dollar price tag is making you blush, then imagine paying that plus another $11.5 million more for a license plate. This Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster is apparently now worth upwards of $12 million. 
Late last month, it was spotted in Monaco, belonging to a mystery Qatari man. You might wonder what makes it so valuable. Well, it's not some crazy custom job or even a gazillion Swarovski crystals glued to the body and interior. No, it's the license plate. Now, we love our cars, but this is almost enough for even us to roll our collective eyes. This is a very special Qatari license plate. The fewer the digits on the plate, the higher the price. And this one reading just one, two, three was reportedly purchased at auction for the mind-blowing price of 10 million euros. It would be close to 12 million at the current exchange rate. That makes the car about 20 times more expensive than it should be. That is not to say that the Lambo isn't beautiful. Pearl white paintwork is complemented by exposed carbon fiber and purple graphics. The Aventador FVJ Roadster has a 6.5 liter V12 engine that produces 759 horsepower and 531 pounds of torque and accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.9 seconds with a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. In addition to its awesome V12 engine and exotic exterior, the Lamborghini Aventador 2022 is the definition of a hypercar. If you're worried about the current price of gas, well, don't get this convertible. The Lambo's 12-cylinder absolutely chugs fuel. Its scissor doors and heavily vented bodywork are something out of a Vin Diesel movie. The vehicle's highly customizable cabin has room for two riders and, well, not else much. The driver can hear the Aventador's engine with a quick stab of the right foot or experience its surprising agility by turning the tiller. Even if its outdated automatic transmission is almost as frustrating as the Roadster's cumbersome roof removal, both are small cons for the 2022 Aventador's models. Otherwise, awesome power and unmistakable style. Typically, this isn't the car you give as a gift. It's a car some would work a lifetime to splurge on, but not if you're Cardi B. But it turns out she was just returning the favor. When Cardi B turned 28, her beau, Offset, gave her, among things, a custom Rolls-Royce Cullinan, estimated at $400,000. Cardi topped his gift by giving him a rare Lamborghini Aventador SVJ 63 Roadster for his 29th birthday, one of only 63 ever made. Even though these cars were sold out long before the official reveal at Monterey Car Week, the rapper and aspiring actress went to great lengths to get her hands on one. Here's the video of Offset's first look at his new car. Cardi B showed him the surprise gift outside their home in front of what appears to be a large group of friends or fans, whatever. His reaction was obvious. Moving on, we'll tip our cap to Offset and his Rolls-Royce gift to Cardi B, but let's check out the Rolls-Royce Dawn, priced at over $360,000 featuring a cloth top that can be lowered to let the sun shine in. The Don's interior is one of the finest in the car business. Made with fine leather, real metal, and genuine wood trim to meet the buyer's individual needs. It is almost as quiet and comfortable as the Ghost sedan when the six-layer top is in place. As its suspension is exclusively tuned for comfort, the Don is at its best when quietly cruising. Thanks to its 563 horsepower V12 engine. With Rolls Royce's bespoke program, buyers can create a custom Don, or they can choose from three distinct collections created by the company. I like the Serenade, which features a ice blue leather interior and a navy blue exterior. Don's cabin, which seats four adults, is easily accessible via rear hinge doors. The butter soft leather and wood trim will captivate any occupant. A massage function can be added to the front seats, and thick lamb wool floor mats make it an above average ride for anyone in shotgun. The trunk of the Don is on the small side for a large car. It is a result of the convertible top, but it should provide enough space for a couple day bags for when you're cruising to the Hamptons. In addition to the touchscreen infotainment system, Rolls-Royce offers a TV tuner as an option, so passengers can enjoy watching their favorite programs on the go. 
The navigation system includes real-time traffic updates and an 18-speaker stereo system will drown out any wind or road noise. It might surprise you to hear that sales at Rolls-Royce, Britain's most prestigious car maker, have reached a record high sales recently that is younger and cooler than Rolls-Royce owners in the past, who preferred to be chauffeured. Today, Rolls-Royce's average customer age is 43, down from 56 a decade ago, and they'd rather drive. Rolls-Royce has attracted sports stars, celebrities, and influencers who make their money fast and like to spend it fast too. 50 Cent, J-Lo, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, and Justin Bieber all drive rollers. A 1935 Duesenberg model JN convertible just sold for $1.34 million. The vintage four-wheeler got this hefty seven-figure sum because of the vehicle's role in automotive history. Duesenberg was once the pinnacle of luxury motoring. When it debuted in 1928, the Model J quickly became a favorite among the upper class. Ten JN models followed in 1935. Of the ten, only three were equipped with a coach-built convertible sedan body by Rolston, including the rarity seen here. The convertible not only has an iconic silhouette, but is also incredibly powerful. A 6.9 liter inline eight engine with 265 horsepower was a true feat of engineering at the time. From class to fast, let's check out the McLaren 720S Spider now. $327,000 can nab you one of these fast and comfortable convertibles that epitomizes inventiveness, imagination, and raw power. The McLaren 720S Spider is a lightweight, strong supercar that delivers breathtaking performance, and it's also a pure convertible cruiser all at once. A 4.0 liter V8 engine with twin scroll turbochargers allows it to accelerate from a standing start to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. Hollywood's favorite bad boy action thriller star Jason Statham has been dazzled by the McLaren 720S Spider as well, but who can blame him? While he owns an extensive collection of supercars, such as the Porsche 911 GT2 and the Ferrari F12, but this beauty might be his favorite. Every last millimeter of the McLaren 720S Spider is about power and poise, a body that has been aerodynamically honed, equipped with modern comforts. A shrink-wrapped exterior is just the start. It's meant to be sculpted in the profile of nature's most aerodynamic shape, the teardrop. Hey, it's enough to make me cry. A striking cockpit completes the design with a minimalist yet luxurious touch. The design emphasizes form and finish. But this beauty goes beyond the surface. For the first time, the 720S Spider has a carbon fiber shell, the Monocage IIS, and the retractable hardtop is an engineering masterpiece. Together, they set the stage for an amazing drive. The Porsche 918 Spider is one of the most expensive convertibles of all time, with an ultra-limited production run and amazing performance numbers. This particular 918 is the most expensive currently listed on Autotrader, as it's practically a brand new car, since it's traveled just 26 miles. Champion Porsche is currently selling it for just under $2 million. Developing a successor to the Carrera GT sports car took Porsche years, but the 918 is here, and it's a plug-in hybrid. Its mid-mounted V8 and electric motors, one on each axle, produce 887 horsepower and 944 pounds of torque, giving it Bugatti-like acceleration, tenacious handling, and a top speed of 211 miles per hour. Moreover, it looks every bit as exotic as any multi-million dollar supercar should, with a low-slung, targa-style body and a futuristic cabin. Now here's a guy that could use a convertible, considering how tall he is. Six foot nine superstar NBA player LeBron James is seen here in his Porsche 918 Spider. 
You know you might see celebrities anytime you see one of these puppies on the road, considering they sell for well over a million and have a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of around 2.2 to 2.4 seconds. There is no doubt that Jerry Seinfeld loves Porsches. After all, the comedian and actor has one of the rarest Porsches in the world. One of the original 356 coupes that was built in Austria. So no surprise he has a 918 Spider. Seinfeld was spotted a few years back in this navy blue 918 in Malibu. This next car is an Aston Martin Vanquish transformed into a more beautiful version by Italian design house Zagato, making it one of the most expensive, fairly new cars on the market. This is an ultra rare car. Only 12 of these were made in the US. This one is listed for 1.1 million by Prestige Imports in the Miami area. Celebs love Aston Martin convertibles too. The soccer star, model, dad, husband, and owner of an Aston Martin is David Beckham. In addition to a deep red Aston Martin V8 Vantage convertible, he has a large collection of vintage luxury cars with his wife Victoria Beckham. The Beckhams were spotted driving around Madrid, Spain in their Vantage. Of course, the Beckhams are not the only superstar Aston Martin owners. Oscar-winning actress Halle Berry and American Idol winner Catherine McPhee both own V8 Vantages. Today, you can purchase the 2019 edition of David Beckham's Vantage online. Aston Martin's Vantage car is crafted with one unwavering purpose in mind, to overwhelm the senses with trademark performance, craftsmanship and design. A 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine powers the 2019 Vantage. The Vantage delivers pure driving performance with a 7-speed manual transmission. However, there are just 99 examples of the Aston Martin Vanquish Segato Volant in worldwide existence, and this one is currently looking for a new home, and it's only been driven 12 miles. How sad! With its iridescent emerald paint scheme, the Vanquish Zagato Volant has a very striking exterior. In addition, there's a gold trim on the badges, the side strakes, and the wheels. The original owner of the car wasn't afraid to make a statement, so the interior is covered in the combination of obsidian black and parliament green leather. The interior is also adorned with Zagato's Z logo embroidered on the headrest seat backs and bolsters, as well as matte green carbon fiber across the center console and a variety of anodized gold trimmings, a Bang and Ulufsen Biosound audio system and power adjustable front seats. Well, convertibles are undeniably cool. An open sky above, an empty road ahead, and loads of cash in your pocket if you're driving any of these aforementioned cars in the video. Ah well, if one blows by you on the highway, perhaps you'll get a glimpse of some famous folks behind the wheel. And maybe you'll just get an urge for a springtime road trip.